Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hope you are evening, all well. Oh, hello. Hold on. Oh, hello. Hold on. Uh, what have I done here? Uh, what have I done here? Uh, what have I done here? Oh, that's what I've done. Okay. Oops. Um, I actually had my stream open in the background as well. Um, yeah, good start. So, hello. Uh, hope you're all doing good. I hope you're having a nice chilled uh, weekend, uh, wherever you are. Um, yeah, I've had a nice, relative, well, relatively nice weekend. I uh, haven't really done much, I can say, but um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, I did play this yesterday and uh, I was getting a little bit frustrated um, because of a, um, a combat engagement, which I'm going to be going straight into um, today. So um, I've been a little bit apprehensive to stream this today i was thinking i've been kind of putting it off like i was supposed to stream this afternoon and i've just been like oh, i don't want to do it i don't want to do it um but i did play a little bit off stream i didn't save it i just played a little bit off stream to try and get a little bit of a bearing on the um the engagement just so i don't want to have to sit here all night trying to do the same thing over and over again so i thought i'll have a few goes to try and figure out how to do it um and i think i've figured a way out which if it works great if it doesn't then i'm gonna have to go back to the um drawing board and try and figure it out there so um but yeah um today i managed to play a little bit more uh borderlands 3 i have been playing borderlands 3 for a long time compared to Borderlands 1, 2 and pre-sequel. I've actually, I feel like I've been playing this the longest, but I think it's because of my stream schedule. I think I've been, because I've not just been playing that in my free time, I've been doing other things as well. Um, that's kind of delayed the game a little bit, which I don't know if I like that or not, but yeah, it's one of those things. Um, and today I did my uh, Formula 1 Grand Prix race um, so I've done that about one o'clock and it was the the F22 F1 2022 game uh, and I'm doing a um, I'm doing I'm doing races as authentic as I can so um, I'm doing the full uh, practice runs I'm doing the qualifying um, the way it should be and then I'm doing the full race which today was a 71 lap race um, in um, Austria so it wasn't a big um it wasn't a, it's not a big track at all but um yeah 71 laps um obviously it's quite quite lengthy so um yeah i ended up doing that i ended up coming fourth place which was very nice um and i i do it with my own team so you can create a team create like a, a race a race um a race team in the game and i didn't want to start with uh, if for those who are from, uh, familiar with f1 I didn't want to start in a Ferrari or Mercedes or a Red Bull. I didn't want to do that because I wanted to get, bring it up from the start and then work my way through. And it will take a couple of seasons to do, but that's absolutely fine. So um, I ended up having uh, a change in contract with my second driver as well, which was uh, originally I, I had Liam Lawson, um, which for a lot, a lot of people are going to be like, I don't even know who that is. Um, but he was not performing at all. He was before. He was basically last or second last every single race, and um, yeah, he just was not performing well at all. So I ended up removing him, and uh, I've replaced him with um, Oscar Piastri, who is in this season, is in in 2023 season. He's actually in F1. Uh, so fingers crossed just crossed it actually might work out for me so anyway enough about that um yeah i'm gonna crack on with a little bit of star wars the old republic today um i don't know how long i will be streaming for i do have work tomorrow and i always think i'm going to uh stream for a couple of hours and it ends up turning into like a, a four hour stream which is not something i intend to do but it's one of those things so uh, i'm gonna get cracking now so we have been playing for 16 hours and 10 minutes and we're just going to go ahead here. Right, so the problem we have here is through this door, we have a 
we have two um, Selkath um, apprentices and a Dark Jedi Master. So what we have to do, we have to kind of make a thing where we can... Um, we have to kind of do something which will essentially allow, allow us to nuke the um, the Jedi Master or isolate him from the others. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is yeah. if I get um, if I get Candorus and I go to um, I'm gonna actually make a trail of mi mines. So I know you can put, just put them on top of each other, but I'm not going to do that. Gonna I'm gonna just have it as a as a train. So there was two plasma grenades there. Uh, there's a minor, there's an average frag grenade. There is another average frag grenade here, which this I didn't actually place this, this first one there. Okay, so we're going to do this now. This is gonna be good. And then we're going to place another one here. This is gonna be and then good. we are going to place a, a minor gas one just at the front here, just so we can get a bit of poison as well. So we've done that. What I'm going to do for every step that I do, instead of me having to do it every single time, I'm going to save the game. Um, so I'm going to do a quick save here, which just an F4. Um, then what we're going to do is we are going to have everyone buff up, and then we're going to bring everyone over here, or well, the two people who are going to be left alone, and we're going to bring them through here. And it's going to be the person who's going to go ahead is actually going to be Candorus because he doesn't run into combat as far as I'm aware because he's ranged but well he does sometimes or half the time but it's easy doing it with Candorus because he's a little bit tanky as well and then we're going to bring the uh, Jedi um, the Dark Jedi Master over here and then we're going to ho hopefully nuke him down um, so uh, first yes. what we need to do is we need to bring everyone over here what and we are going to buff everyone up for what they need to be so it's going to be a Sith energy shield for you what? you're going to have the Ichani shield and I you're going to have an energy shield uh, we're then going to go to sure. a hyper battle stimulant on you huh? you're going to yes. have a uh, battle stimulant on you Sure. and you're huh? going to have a battle stimulant on you as well and then we're yes. going to go to our force powers, which is force resistance. Uh, we're going to go to force valor, which will help everyone. And then we're going to have a force shield. And then we're going to save. Yes. And then we're going to go to us quickly, and we're going to go to force valor, I think. No, we've done force valor, didn't we? Force aurora. We've done force aurora. And we're going to yeah, just quickly save again. And then we're going to yeah. go to solo mode, and we're going to do this. So wish us luck, and we should hopefully... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, door? Hello? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. You know what? Uh, okay, just, How did you get in here? just open, yeah, because that was a bit annoying. Wait. Oh. We're going to load, just because that was a bit of a, a disaster. Right, so, do you wish to turn solo mode on? Yes. Yeah. So, are these following now? No, they're not. Okay, cool. So, door. How did you get in here? Wait. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to run. Oh, everyone's buffs are gone. So... That might not actually be the play. We're going to load back. Just have a look to see what everyone's buffs are looking like. Because they might just run out really quickly. Yeah, they are running out really quickly. So we do have to be really quick on this. Um, you know what? We're not going to go solo mode. We're just going to go in like this. I think. No, we're not. Uh, let's load. Sorry, I know this is a lot of back and back and forth, back and forth, but uh, I'm just trying to maximise as much as I can. Um, so we're going to go solo mode here. You're going to stay there. How did you get in here? Wait. 
Alright, oh, oh, this, this, this. Alright, I am all by myself, which is good. Uh, we're going to disengage, we're going to run this way and let the Dark Jedi come through. Oh shit, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to have to wipe this out. And we are going to use yes. uh, Bastila. We're going to have you have force resistance. Nope! Disengage. Yes. Uh, can do us. Can you? Nope. Oh. Can do us, please. What can I do? Right, so we're just going to bring these around. Yes. Is it going to follow? Oh, okay, that was a lot of damage. Okay, that's what we were looking for. And we're just going to now nuke as much as we can. What can I do? What? Right, so you're going to get uh, Bastila, you're going to ignore that, and you're going to get a cure on the group here. Uh, you're going to have uh, Force Resistance, and you're going to go for a Force Valor. I'm not, not even sure if it's needed here. Bastila, you need to focus on the Dark Jedi, because we are... That's what's doing all the damage here. Just get him down, come on. Oh, we are so low health here, so we're going to do an advanced yes. med kit. We have got too much things in the queue here. Let's go on this. Are oh, we dead? Okay. See, look, even though we took half of his health down in that initial engagement. Come on, Candos, just get him down. Okay, he's dead. Okay, nice. We should be able to get these down now with just Candos here. We are going to throw a plasma grenade. So we do have health regen as well, so Candus, I don't know what it is, but he does get healed up. I don't know what heals him up, but it's something. Um, we're just going to send one more plasma grenade down just to get that finished up. And now we're just going to do power shots on your man here. And hopefully we can get some good hits. There we are, an 18, which is great. 16. Just a miss, unfortunate. 20. Come on, another one like that and we'll be done. 23. Oh, beautiful. Whew, okay. Save. Saved it. Okay. So, let's have a look to see what this guy has on him. He has a crystal um, luxum, a retinal combat implant, a double-sided double lightsaber, and a dark Jedi Master robe. Okay. I'm so. Here. Yes. Now, the Dark Jedi Master Robe, I don't know what this, I mean, it gives us an additional point, but these robes offer superior protection while still allowing full freedom. So, even though we are not really a Dark Jedi, we are going to put that on because, just for the sake of our, um, that's 2 to 16, that's 2 to 20. This is two, 3 to 22, so we are going to keep that. Um, yeah, we are going to keep uh, the these dark Jedi robes on us. Um, even though they don't actually look that great. Uh, so let's all... Hello, Taspar. Let's get some cures on. Group. Wow. Bastila, you're yes. going to do the same here. We cure. Sure. 
Okay, and now let's go in here and let's just have a look around to see what is here. Whew. Uh, so there's two advanced med kits, which is great. And then in here there is a um, there's a Achani dueling, dueling shield and a dark Jedi knight robe as well. So let's have a look to see if we can actually put some of this on Bastila as well. So she's there's a Jedi robe. She is currently wearing nothing with no I say nothing. No, with no benefits there so there is a dark jedi knight robe and the jedi knight robe there i think i'm gonna give her i'm gonna give her the jedi knight robe um and then what's that got three to 21 uh and that is a that is a three two to 20 okay i do want to have a look to see what that crystal gave though okay she, looks, she looks cool um, right. Um, yes. Yes. Where's my infantry here? So, uh, infantry. We did get a Luxum crystal. So, uh, what does it do? Uh, it's a special upgrade. It doesn't actually tell us what it does. So that's something interesting. We may look at that if there is a. Um, okay. So this is. Yeah. We're gonna. Hopefully, we can find a. Um, Right. Uh, turn solo mode off. So hopefully they should come over here. Let's just look in this foot locker here. Um, yeah, I hope uh, there's a data pad, which I think the data pad is what we were after anyway, which we already had. So it's one of those, I guess. But you know, um, so we are just gonna heal up while we can, uh, while we have got enough force. Uh, Bastila, yes. can you do some curing, please? And last one, and yes. we are all full health now. That is great. Uh, so now we're going to make our way through. Uh, there is some dark Jedi's as well in the in this place as well. So we are going to go and search for them, and we are just going to hopefully get them down. Um, oh yeah. Oh, uh, that was just a quick way through, wasn't it? But we didn't end up doing it. That's fine. Um, let's just get a little bit of a hydrate going. I can't go in the door on the left. Uh, we can deactivate it from here, can't we? That that's that shield. Uh, slice into computer. We've only got five spikes, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to hold out there. Uh, and they were in here, so we are going to do another quick save just before going in. There we go. And then we're going to do a Force Valor, which is going to boost everyone here. Uh, and then we're going to you. Then we're going to go in. Uh, we're going to go a Plasma Grenade. I don't feel so hot. Right, let's try and nuke this one down. The force fights with me. Right. Here it is. It's a bad angle. Good. Right, he's down, nice. Right, let's get a heal on the group. Faster like you can do with, you can do some cures here. Okay, yep. Bastila is down, which is fine. Oh, kick in the face. Oh, that was a good crit. It's a very, very good crit there. Okay, now... Huh? Alright, we're going to have to just have rapid fires here. Right, we are going to get the shield on so we're going to do that we're going to have a shield go on we're going to have a advanced med kit and then we are going to oh, that was... keep going with the attacks mate keep going with the attacks yeah we're not going to we're not going to survive this yep that's fine that's fine i thought we would um just get that but that's absolutely fine oh christ um, 
Oh, and uh, I did notice as well um, the fridge 71. Thanks for the follow, pal. Right, uh, right, let's get a force fella. Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. Candus, you're going to get a concussion wow. grenade. Okay, that was a bit of a bit of a wipe there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go on to your man here, we're gonna do another concussion grenade. Okay, that's a good stun there, so what can I hopefully do? get this one down. Come on, Basila. There we go. Nicely done. Uh, we, that's another stun as well, so we're just going to nuke this guy down. We're, oh, taskbar. No, we're going to disengage. Sure. And we're going to come away. We're going to have a heal on the group. That's going to be a lot of damage as well. Bastila has just helped us there with a cure. And Bastila, can you just go onto the back of this Dark Jedi and what just can I do? help with the DPS? Hopefully soak up a little bit of that damage. Here it is. is this a dark it's just a dark Jedi this is. Uh right, we're gonna get a cure on the group. Okay, no, we're not. Oh, fucking hell. This is what I do. I think he reflected back at, back at us. Okay, come on, just keep doing that. Another one, please. Another one. Okay, nice. Are we out of combat, technically? Yes, we are. Yes. So I know there is one around there, but we are going to wait and we are just going to get some force healing done. We're just going to wait this out. It's been a bit of a fucking disaster at the moment. Uh, so there's a short lightsaber, which from what I heard, short lightsabers are actually really yes. good for off hands. So I'm on, and I think they negate the penalty that you have on the off hand. So I'm just going to check that out quickly. Um, so. There is the short lightsaber here, which if we don't have, we've got a 6, 25, and then a 10, and a 3. But if we do that, that's a plus 17. So that's 17, and this is a 13. So there is a plus 3 to the... So apparently we've got more chance to hit with a single lightsaber, but we actually do more damage if we have this but this might be down to the fact that this hasn't been upgraded so we could arguably have this as a offhand for ourselves. we're just going to check this out while we can um and i do actually like having a a, a short lightsaber it it it's just nice um so we are going to just get a few more heals down down yeah. the line here. What can I do? One more cure. We should be okay what? to go in with this Jedi now. So we are going to save. That'll be a good idea. And then let's just go in with this Jedi here. Okay, three misses off the bat. Nice. There we are. Okay, nice. Uh, right, let's check what remains this one's got. So it's got 12 credits, a crystal of um, Genuax. There is a uh, advanced repair kit, a Sith energy shield, an advanced um, rural uh, amplifier. And I think there is some remains over here which we didn't check out as well. Let's have a quick look in this. And there is a, another crystal um, Genuax. Uh, an advanced adrenaline amplifier and a Sith energy shield. Okay, lovely. Uh, so there's two in here. We are going to do the security, no which we should have enough skill to Didn't do. Didn't work. Apparently not. Uh, what about this one? Is it the same for this? No problem. Okay. Didn't work. Okay, so we're just going to we're just going to 
blasted open. Okay, so there's a hair trigger and a bio anti uh, ant antidote package. Okay, cool. We're going to do the same thing on this and hopefully we don't destroy what's inside it. And there is an uh, area do strength amplifier. Okay, so let's just have a little look at what these do now. So we're going to go to Bastila. She can't use anything as an implant yet. Um, so that is uh, one to dexterity. This gives to two to strength. We are in the market for that, so we're going to give her two there. Uh, the energy shield, we can give her this, the Achani dueling shield. Uh, that does give more points uh, in, that's just 20 points in electrical, that's 60 points in electrical, so that's great. And then there is the Mandalorian melee shield, which, or there's the Sif energy shield, which I don't think, I mean, it's better than the energy shields that we've got here, but um, I'm going to use that just to get it out of the way. Um, and then uh Candorus, we have a these are level two level three i'm not sure if we can put those on ourselves yes we can so this is going to give us a um immunity to poison um which is good this is a level two which immunity to critical hits and then skills awareness that might actually be pretty nice um so and then there's the nerve enhancement as well i think I might go for, we might actually just go for the retinal combat implant because that's going to give us an additional, so it's going to, I think we get more problems with critical hits than we do to uh, poison, so we are going to have that, um, that gives us three will and two awareness. Uh, this gives us four awareness. Okay, so that's given us five points in soon. That's given us four points in soon. I'm just trying to look at the difference in the stats here, but there is nothing we can see. There's a sonic nullifier, which is a uh, damage resistance to versus sonic. Okay, so we are going to use a. We're going to keep this on, I think. Uh, Bastila, you can have that on as well and then Candorus what is this giving you this is giving you plus four in awareness this is giving you plus four in awareness as well although I do like the fact that this makes you look like splitting the cell so we are going to keep them on project gauntlets dexterity uh two strength okay and then this is a two strength as well uh and then there is the cardio regulator so there's the advanced so this gives us three in reflex so there's fortitude or reflex i think i'm going to go for the reflex so we're going to have that uh, you're going to have the adrenaline amplifier and you're going to have the adrenaline amplifier or the fortitude um i think what we do actually we're going to give candorus the one with fortitude here um so we are all good to go yes. now yes and we're going to just get some heels on the go and hopefully get ourselves to full health here wow. i'm here one more sure okay so let's have a look so we have explored everywhere except this room here i think this room does have some dark jedi in it as well um i'm gonna try and kill them just uh panels currently malfunctioning okay um I am going to try and kill them as well uh, for the sake of trying to get a purple lightsaber crystal. Um, I say because I am quite eager to get one of them. So, um, so we're all good here. And before we get to that door, I am going to save. Um, so we are getting towards. I wouldn't say towards the game where it starts getting a little bit more difficult, but um, it does appear that stats are becoming a a factor now like before when we were playing it didn't really make much difference but now apparently it does so we are going to save coming into here and we're just going to open up there should be uh two of these droids okay so these are the nightmare droids which take ages to kill so what we're going to do is we're going to have uh your man do a full a uh, full load of them and we're going to have loads of these I think I 
think what we're going to do, actually, we're not going to have these. We're going to use power attacks, because I think it's the power attacks that are actually... Okay, so they're missing. But they are doing damage. So I think what this means is they have a a very, very high defense. That's what it is. They have a very, very high defense. Uh, oh, shit. Candorous. Uh, you can leave, mate. Okay, you... Uh, that hurt, I bet. So it's basically, yes. I think you've got to try and find criticals. Sure. Oh, Jesus Christ, 60 damage on Bastila then. Yeah, I think this is kind of, I don't want to say pointless. Uh, we are going to go for an iron grenade. Just let them finish off these two attacks here. Uh, concussion grenade, plasma, adhesive, sonic, poison, concussion. I don't think there's anything really else we can do here except for just... Maybe even just load back and just not go in because... These are just ridiculously tanky, and they... Yeah, I think, I think what it is then, they are, they have a ridiculous amount of defense, which we have to try and roll over that defense, and I think it's a very, very, very small chance of us doing it. So, we end up not having to, um, not being able to... Uh, hit the damage, and when we do hit the damage, they have a. I'm not if it's fortitude or something, but essentially they will have a a skill or a stat which will reduce a certain not percent, but certain points of damage. So, for instance, if we were going to do 20 damage, they could have something which is actually taking away 15 of the damage that they would have received. So it's only five damage, but if we only roll 12 damage, then there's we we're not going to do anything at all so i think that's actually what what is what we're experiencing here so i don't think i want to sit here and just burn through these although this one yeah okay yeah because we do actually hit if you look that doesn't hit that didn't hit either Candorous. And that's what I'm talking about as well with uh, the um, the defense. Like if you miss, that's that's counting as a miss. That is um, because their defense is so high. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to yeah I'm going to load the game and I'm going to come and I'm not going to bother with those because. It's a bit of a pointless exercise. We would it would give us a significant amount of um, experience, but at the moment I don't feel like we're in the market for that at the moment. We could we could go into the um, the computer and um, deactivate them, which we could probably do not do here, but we could go down there and do it. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave that there. So. Um, we've done that. We um, we're gonna go now to. Let's just look at our, uh, our quest log here. Um, so the search for this. Uh, so there's the mission for the Republic. You managed to receive an encrypted data module from the Sith base. Now you need to return it to the Roland One. Uh, so we can tell you uh, what you may know about the star map on this world. Okay, so that's something that we need to go and do now. Uh, we do have uh, two of them. It's not down there. Yeah, going through that base did 
take up a lot of resources. So I'm just trying to think where Roland One is. Is in the Republic Ambassador uh, uh, Embassy, isn't he? I'm pretty sure he's in in the yeah. I'm pretty sure he's in the Republic Embassy, um, which I believe is all the way down here. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be streaming this week or what days I will be streaming. Uh, West Courtyard, that's the Visitor's Hotel, and that's the Republic Enclave. It was the Republic Enclave, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming this week or on what days. I should be. It should be standard Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, but uh depending on the yeah here it is depending on what the um depending on how like tired i am from work i don't want to play this uh and be utterly tired like i was on thursday um it's not really enjoyable to watch it's not really enjoyable to play and i'm just trying to burn through content for the sake of doing it um i mean i think i'm making fairly good progress at the moment but let's um I'll just see how I go and I'll just let people know. Of Have course. you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? I found two, yeah. Here you go. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kulto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. Um, what has the Republic done? The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kulto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. You violated the treaty. Shh, not so loud. Yes, it is a technical violation of the treaty, but it is sanctioned by elements of the Selkath government. We need only to keep it hidden from the Sith. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kulto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, uh, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Um... Why have you not investigated? As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. Uh, how will I get down there? I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. Hmm, okay, interesting. Um, it's not this way, is it, that we have to go? Uh, restricted access. I don't think that's. I don't think we can come in here, can we? Oh, we can. Oh, this, yeah, this is where the submarine is. Doi. 
Um, all right, let's see if there's anything that we can loot in those. I doubt it. Yeah, there's nothing there. All right, let's go to the submarine. Uh, some uh, the submersible can be used to descend into the deep ocean. Hurrah, uh, research station. Use the submersible. That's cool. Alright, there's a footlocker here. Let's just have a little mooch. Stealing someone's lunch. Um, antidote kit 3. Okay, lovely. Uh, is it... Okay, so they're dead. Okay, so there's bodies all over the place. Body over here. So, there's a footlocker over there. So, let's have a look in that. But these have been attacked. And it looks like... I don't know if it's blaster fire or not. I can't really tell. Um, two repair kits. Um, Ow! How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. Uh, who are you? No, no, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. Um, what happened here? The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. Uh, you the Selka? They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran. But hardly any of us made it. Uh, I locked the door behind us, but but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks. The Feroxa out there and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath. Like us. Um Let's get you back to the surface. Back to the surface, yes. No! There's something out there. It got the other submersible already. We can't leave until you do something. Blow up the entire station, maybe. Whoa. That might distract whatever I got here. is long enough for us to escape to the surface. But all the machinery and stuff is in the southern half, and that, that's been flooded. There might still be environmental suits around, but... but the cell calf might have laid their eggs in them. Uh, I'll have to get into the station. No! I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for. Oh, you shut up. Uh, tough. I need to open it. If you it. go in there, you're dead. You're all dead. If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Don't get your hopes up too high. I have no intention of dying. <laughs> Candorous. Right, uh... Uh, three antidote kits. Okay, nice. Uh, two sonic grenades and 50 credits. Okay, so we've been given three, no, six antidote kits, which something's telling me I'm going to be getting poisoned a lot. So, I'm thinking, so instead of having this, having the bio antidote package uh side effects include dry mouth <laughs> um so i'm gonna have this so i can't be poisoned and i think that might be a good shout for the moment uh so there's an equipment pack here let's have a look uh there's 10 credits 25 credits 100 credits and thermal detonator so i think the thermal detonators are actually the most they do look cool sharks to be fair uh they are the the strongest grenades in the in the game uh, so let's have a look at this terminal here we might be able to have a look at on a on the security cameras uh, two computer spikes so that's going to get us into the computer hopefully 
Uh, slice into the computer with one spike. Okay, great. View central storage room. So there's, looked like there was three. There's just one on the left and there's two there and they are going a bit tits. Uh, that we can vent the room but we're not going to uh, west storage room. Uh, I didn't see that. Uh, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five that I can see. There's probably another one as well, but there is five. Uh, will cost us two spikes to do that room, which I don't think we are going to do. Uh, there is, look like two sentry droids. Uh, return, uh, there is the south hallway, which we can see two droids as well. We can see one close and one right up the far end. Uh, the security room, which is guarded by a a droid there which we can deactivate the shield on the heavy sentry droid which we're not going to there's environmental suit containment uh, there is no one in here but except for two dead bodies it does look like there is a suit there we could probably use uh, and then there is the security computer room which in here there is uh, that's where we are now so that's fine um, we're gonna log out we're not gonna use any spikes to get anywhere that we need to uh, we're just going to make our way through okay we're gonna have a quick save before we do this combat engagement yeah uh, Bastila you are up you're gonna do disabled droid right that was very nice. I didn't know that was a I didn't know that was a well, it did say it was AoE, but I did actually forget it was AoE, so that's something that we might have to use a little bit more in the future. I'm gonna just go in with a flurry here because I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. There is a sentry droid around the left there. 650 experience just for them is great. So there's the door here that we can kind of try and break into. There's nothing we can loot around here. We are going to come around here though because there is a there's a faulty patrol droid. Lucky that we was able to not get poisoned there. There's the pressure door, which is a door that's sealed from the other side. Okay, that's fine. There is the foot locker here, which might have another poison grenade around it. Nope. Plasma grenade, which is great. And that's about it. So we are going to... We're going to come to this door on the left if we can. There's no remains. Okay, so the cell calf is insane cell calf here. So we're just going to try and DPS them down quickly. Okay, so... They don't, they're not, okay, so they're not actually that tanky, so that's fine. Okay, so these are poisoning as well, so, um, it does look like Bastila does have a poison on her, so switching, uh, switching to that implant was a good idea, uh, it would, it would seem. Uh, so let's just get a cure down range here. We don't need to do another one. And we're just going to try and nuke these here. And we're going to do a power attack. Another power attack. Hopefully we can get this hit. Nope. Okay. Switch back to flurries, please. Like a nice damage there. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we can go through that door and we can come through the door on... No, we can't go through the door on the left. So let's just lock in here. Uh, we've got three parts, which is good. That might be just for this droid here. We've got one repair droid. One repair part to repair the droid, but I don't think we're in the market of doing that at the moment. Let's just check the remains of these here. So there's adrenal stamina. There is a... Is that a dark Jedi? Yeah, well, it's a Jedi Master robe, and it's a sigil, uh, sigil crystal as well. 
So there was Jedi down here. Interesting. Okay, so there's two droids there. These shouldn't be too bad to destroy. Let's just run in. There might be a grenade on the floor. The droid just tried to kick us. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, we're going to get a heal. Uh, by Bastila, please. Uh, we are stun locked at the moment. Hopefully we can get out of there. Come on. There we go. Let's get a heal down range. We're going to... Keep missing. How much health does this have? This has got full health as well. Okay, that took a lot of damage there. Okay, I don't know why it's... I don't know if we got we're getting penalties or something. Because we are missing every single shot that we have. I think I might... And we only got 30 experience for them as well. And they were doing quite a bit. So, it's a bit, a bit concerning. A uh, poison grenade, a concussion grenade, and a frag grenade. Okay, great. We can proceed through here. We are going to get another quick save while we, while we can. This room looks relatively clean. We're just going to run through just in case there is any poison grenades. There is a room on the left here which we can... We'll be fine. Um, Candorus, you are going to use a... Uh, a concussion grenade and then down there okay nice concussion grenade there and you're gonna okay so that's a bit of nice cc there all right let's just get this one down and then we can focus on the other two we are going to get a heal down range Nicely done. Right, let's just get these done now. Is there anyone else in this room? It doesn't look like it at the moment. And we have a level up on Jim Char as well, which is great. We are going to just quickly look in this room to see if there's anything else. Uh, no, there isn't. There probably is some remains on the floor that we haven't investigated yet. But we are going to do this level up here. So we've got skills. Uh, we are level 13. Um, and we're going to go for, I think we're probably good on this at the moment. We're going to go one in security. In fact, no, that's going to take two points. Um, pers I'm going to do one in persuade. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go one for one in security. Um, and then there's power. So we've got an additional point we can use here and we can use that in Night Valor which is going to grant all party members three points um, in all physical attributes and saving throws um, it also grants them immunity to poison which at the moment is actually really good so we are going to add that power here and we're just going to accept okay so uh, we're going to get some cures down uh, and then we can have um, some we can have that uh, I don't think we can have it hot keyed. That would be nice if we could, but unfortunately, I don't think we can. Uh, so there's a scientific sci scientist's memo, a med pack, and a sonic uh, emitter. Huh? So what does the like sonic you? emitter do here? So let's have a quick nose. So the sonic emitter, if I can find it, uh, sonic grenade. Is it down the bottom? Sonic nullifier. Data pad, this, this, uh, star map, it done tween. There's a water pump analysis. Uh, there's the data pad there. Using key. There we go. The sonic emitter. So, unlimited uses. This device emits a powerful sonic pulse, useful, scaring off or stunning various wildlife. It normally has extremely limited range. Uh, but in an underwater environment, this signal would travel quite a dis distance. It has proven quite lethal to several species of uh, Phyraxian sharks. Interesting. Yeah, I'm here. So, is that something that we can even... I don't think that's something that we can equip. Let's say equipped, equip. Um, 
nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Yeah, I don't think that's something that we can actually. Yeah, we can't we can't equip this in any in any way. But that's interesting to get nonetheless. Uh, is there anything else we can loot around here? No, I don't think so. Uh, is there? Yeah, and there's some remains over here we do need to investigate. So there's a poison grenade and an advanced repair kit, which is great. Uh, let's check out through this door. Nothing here. And I have got the feeling there is a juicy boy on the other side of this room, which is a Mark IV droid. Yep. Okay, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to... I'm gonna be. I'm gonna just see. Can I take that off? Are we actually able to damage this with the shield around it? I think. Uh, plasma ion grenade. Let's just throw this ion grenade. I know we are close, but okay. So the shield's down. So we've done enough damage to the shield. Uh, so we are going to have a, a heal across the group here. Oh, we had a double heal there, which was great. Uh, we are all full health now, so we can just go for the DPS. Power attack, that might work better. You're dead. So this is a struggle to get through at the moment. Bastila, um, in fact, you can, can you just use those, please? Bastila, can you use your flurry? Uh, we're going to have a energy shield on ourselves there. We're going to have the Sif energy there and a Chani there. Uh, you can disengage on all this, a Chani, and then the power blasts there. Yes. You can go. Uh, you can continue doing what you're doing. Huh? Uh, cute. Okay, we yes. are down, which is unfortunate. Uh, I think, oh, can we, we can look in that. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but. Attacks actually hit. No, they're not hitting, so. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I am missing with this. Um. So the Sonic emitter is there. Okay, so. Let's use this and let's see if this actually is going to help. We're going to use an advanced medkit on ourselves just to. Can you use your rapid shot, please? See, it shouldn't be taking this long to take this down. So there's definitely something I'm missing. Is it... Hmm. 
What can I do? Yeah, she's really low health now. Um, maybe. Uh. Die! I mean, preferably, I'd rather be attacking Candorus because Candorus is tanky as fuck. And I know standing behind him is not going to work, so. actually do anything. No. Die! You're dead. This is what I live for. Yeah, we just have to try and burn the way through, but we've got Die! We're not Regening any force powers either. Yeah, we're not regening anything here. So be it. Yeah, I don't think this is the way to go. This is gonna probably kill Bastila here, but A ion grenade, not plasmas. Sorry, Bastila, but All right, so it's near, it's about two thirds of the way down. We are just going to move this down with um, plasma grenades. Six damage, okay, nice. Thirty six, okay, another thirty six will be great. Eighteen, okay, not what we wanted. We can do an adhesive and then a Sonic. I don't think Sonic will actually do anything, will it? I did. We got loads of Sonic, so we might as well just send send two down. Okay, only needed the one. You could have stopped, and it's only 500 experience as well, which is really shit. Um, okay, we are just going to wait this out and just hopefully get. Um, there's a Foot Locker here. Let's just look in this Foot Locker. Um, but there's a Sonic grenade and two Frag grenades, so we are going to need them later on, and we're just going to wait this out for. Um, for the force powers to come up just so we can get ourselves to full health um, but whilst that is happening I am quite curious to know what is it that Candorus has that actually makes him revive or well, increase his health so uh, uh, da, 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 so it's not that because I'm pretty sure yeah, I don't think it's... I don't think it's that. Uh, I think... Is he just... Is he just got a high skill of something? Is it his constitution? Maybe? Well, something's giving him a constitution. So, what is giving him constitution here? Is it... That's giving him one. I don't think it's his constitution. I'm here. What? And it sucks that you have uh, your force power. I don't. Well, I'm not sure if it does. Uh, doesn't appear so that your force power doesn't get replenished while shooting the, uh, the poor screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
ooh, I really, really don't want to be going to work tomorrow. Really don't want to. It's been a nice, chill weekend. So I haven't really done much or whatever, but... Huh? What can I do? Yeah, I, uh, as I was saying at the start of the stream, I've... How long have we been streaming now? Uh, only just over an hour. Um... Yes. The, um, yeah, as I was saying at the start of the stream, that my, uh, you know what, before we go anywhere, save. There's a large locker here, and there is a dead soldier here, so let's have a look at that. Uh, there is a improved energy cell and an Arcanian energy shield here. There is a whispering locker here. Somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Um... I'm Jin Chan. I've been sent by the Republic to investigate what's happened here. Investigate? You're just like the others. Order for the Selkath. What can fish next? Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. The Selkath was and started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Um. Number three, force persuade. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the cult are is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. Hmm. What made the Selkath insane? Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. Uh, come out. We'll protect you. No, no, no. no. Only the ones left in this. Okay, so, uh. I'm gonna try Force Persuade again. No. Oh. Yep, okay, that doesn't work. Uh. If you don't come out, I'll just leave you there. Leave you in there. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. <laughs> Go chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Okay. Um, that was a strange thing. Uh, let's try and op open this with security. Got it. Uh, there we go. We've got two adrenal alacrities, Um And there is a locker here which you can try and unlock as well. Got it. There we go. And there we got a, a hyper adrenal stamina and a computer spike. Lovely. Uh, oh, there's a locker here as well. Nope. Let's have a little mooch. Got it. And we got three parts, which is great. Uh, environmental suit, items received. Okay, so I think we should be able to go outside now. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, so that was nice. Okay, so we poisoned them. Oh no, it wasn't us that poisoned it, it was his friend poisoned it. Okay, so it's a bit of free experience here, which is good. And then that should be poisoned as well. Okay, nice. Let's get them down. Okay, lovely. That's an average frag grenade grenade, so uh Candorus, you are our demolition specialist, so hopefully you can Recover that mine. Can you recover the mine? Nope, apparently not. I'm here. Which is what? fine. We could have used that later on with uh, an engagement. So there's a scientific scientist's memo, a med pack, and a sonic emitter as well. So we've got two sonic emitters now, which is fine. Uh, dead soldier, we don't need that. There's the door back here. There's nothing in the remains on these soldiers here. So let's go over here or oh, we can't go through here uh, so we're gonna go through the door over here oh patrol droid try and get it down quick there might be some on the left yeah all right let's get this one down now quick nice damage there Candace, I don't know what you're doing mate but 
Right, so there is a door on the left there, but on the right there, where we can kind of have a mooch. But we are going to open up here. Uh, average gas grenade. Just going to preferably not do that. Okay, nice damage there. I hope we get this one down quickly. There we go. Let's get a cure on the group there. Does that actually help cure poison as well? Let me just have a quick look at that skill. Feats. Uh, is it a feat or is it powers? It's powers, isn't it? Um, poisons are also neutralized by this effect as well. Okay, that's nice to know. I did not know that. Um, so we've got two advanced med kits, a verpine, a prototype iron blaster. That might be good for Candorus. Uh, so let's have a quick mooch. So Candorus, yours is doing 2 to 11 and it's doing energy damage. That is the verpine, which is a 3 to 6. Okay, so that doesn't really do much. That's 1 to 8. Disrupt a pistol. Ion rifle, a blaster carbine, one to eight, a disruptor roof rifle, one to six, one to eight, one to six. Okay, so it does appear that that's two to eleven. Okay. What can I do? Sure. Uh, I bought airlock sequence. Okay, so we're not going to do that yet. We are going to have a little bit of a mooch elsewhere before we do this uh we're going to try and secure no to use security Didn't on the door work. okay so we can blast our way through okay nice we're gonna make our way through there was probably some enemies on the left no there was not there's gonna be some grenades around though i've got probably got a 200 credits and a med kit. Probably a grenade on this. Oh, no, no. A hyper battle stimulant and an advanced med pack. Okay, great. Um, so there's the doors on the. Okay, cool. There's a door on the right here. So there is. Uh, there is. Uh, there's only two here. So you can just. Hopefully, it's going with the damage. I don't I'm gonna get a cure because of the poisons. There we go, nice. Typical. Oh, and let's get that down. Okay, lovely. Uh, so there's some remains on your man here, I think. Is there nothing there? Okay, so there is the average gas mine here. I'm here. Uh, yes. You can try and do that again with the recover. It's probably going to fuck it up, but. Yep. I'm here. Sure. That's fine. Can do a save go. Uh, there's no remains here. There is a frag grenade here, which we're just going to run through because it's pointless trying to pick it up as it was an average. <gasps> Errors. Uh, right, let's go take care of this guy first. Here it is. Okay, that's down. Okay, great. Okay, we've got two level ups on Bastila and Candorus there, which is great to see. We gotta wait with the cure um, as they are gonna get uh, poisoned again relatively soon if we do cure, so there's no points. Right amount of damage on on the adds there. Okay, great. Well done people, well done. So there is some remains here. Uh, there's 53 credits and two frag grenades. Great. And then there is a uh, there's some remains on uh, your man over here. And we've got an energy projector and a poison grenade. Uh, and that's a pretty. It's quite nice to be fair. Um, 
Okay, so there's an advanced med repair kit there, which is good. And then we are going to do our level ups for Bastila and Candorus. So level up. Uh, attributes, she's got to level 12. She does get an additional attribute skill here. I think dexterity is the highest it can be now because it can only get to modifier 4. It might be modifier 5. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That was me moving the chair. Um, you know what? Hold on. What I've got on my chair, I had to buy them separately. So, and if I could go back, I would not buy the chair I've got. So, I know everyone has these kind of air quotes gaming chairs where you've got the cushion at the back, you've got the cushion at the top, and it says gaming and they do look nice, but. The whole thing about a gaming chair is you're supposed to be able to sit in there for hours comfortably when gaming and it's not the case. Sitting in a leather chair for hours is gross. It makes you sweat, it's really uncomfortable, it squeaks, it's not great. So if I could go back I would actually buy one of those office chairs, you know with the, 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 uh, the mesh back. Um, absolutely buy one of them um instead um but the the wheels it's got it's they didn't have brakes on them so whenever i was playing formula one um on my um racing rig whenever i would press the brake pedal because the brake pedal it has got a lot more it, it's got a lot more resistance on it i'll press the brake brake pedal and i'll end my chair will end up just rolling backwards so it will just be like pointless um so i had to buy separate um separate wheels so i always forget that they're on so i go to move the chair and it always like creaks so you probably heard that in the background um so um constitution i think i might go for a constitution here because it is going to help with the health and resiliency although hmm I might go Wisdom. A high Wisdom also adds modifiers to Jedi Force points and fork, 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 Force Power for saving throws. The Force Powers of a Jedi with High Wisdom are also much harder to resist. I'm going to have that. So we are going to start working up our Wisdom there. So we're going to have one in Treat Injury and one in Awareness there. We're not going to have anything else in the others. There's no point with Bastila. Uh, we've got Force Immunity with Paralysis. So she doesn't have that. And then Master Sense. So we're just going to look what they do. Okay, so uh, the Jedi is one with the Force, moving within it, within it as it moves within all things. This connection prevents fear or loss of senses and blocks any attempt at pr pr uh, paralysation. This feat is also is always active. Um, it replaces the stud, so we can't be stunned there, so we can't be paralysed, which is good. Um, and then there is the uh, Master Sense as well. Uh, as the Jedi's connect, uh, as the, the connection to the Force continues to strengthen, the Jedi gains a supreme sense of of self, and the actions of the others. Uh, it grants a plus six defense and is always active. Okay, that is very nice there. So we're going to have that. Uh, we have got another point as well, which we are going to use in. I'm going to use in critical attack or critical strike. Sorry. Um, just because we are keep using Flurry with Bastila now, and it's kind of a, that's all she's got going for her. So uh, we can actually have the heal here as well, which I think is quite important. So we're going to have the heal, we're going to accept, we're going to go to Candorus, and we're going to have a attribute here. Um, now... Strength... Measures physical power. So what I've read is apparently this is kind of pointless for ranged um, for ranged attackers, which is a shame because I think that's where I've been building. Which is fine. We would be going for dexterity here. So we're going to try and get a better dexterity on your man. Uh, we're going to have one in demolition here and we're just going to leave that there and then in your feet he's going to have he's got master 
power blast and he's got master rapid shot there um hey hooded how you doing pal hope you're well um we're going to have a i think we're gonna have a sniper shot here which is going to basically be the ranged version of critical strike so we oh crap we are going to get that um just so we can have uh, a little bit more variety in our attacks and we're just going to say we're done there and we are yes. going to continue so um what you've missed unless you want to catch up on the vod but uh say so we did end up getting through the manan base uh, which i was stuck at at the end of the day yesterday which was um it was the dark master dark master dark jedi we ended up uh, doing that uh, and then we ended up coming to a underwater uh, base um, where there is um, the cell calf who have gone absolutely nuts uh, so we are still on Manan um, but we're just we're hopefully we're coming towards the end of this area now so we're no going to try security on this Didn't work. so we're just going to hopefully get through with some some attacks here so we're just going to bash the door down Okay, no we're not. Um, right, we are going to come to one of these rooms on the left and we're going to use the um, the diving suit that we've got and we're going to make our way outside. So we're going to continue, we're going to engage the airlock seals. Warning hostile environment conditions, environmental suit advised. You only have one environmental suit available. If you proceed through the airlock, all party members will have to stay behind until you return. Yes. So we are now outside. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to turn up the gamma on the stream because apparently you can't see shit. I think that's the whole point though, really. And we've got sonic emitters on... Um, so we can check this welded door here. Let's just try and see if we can get through. We can't. It has been welded shut. Okay, that's fine. Can we go that way? We could have gone that way. So let's just have a quick nose down here. There could be something that we need to... Need to do. So there's a foot locker down here. Uh, and there is in here and two average frag mines. Uh, is there anything else in these storage crates? No, there is not. Uh, is there anything in here? No, there isn't. So we are going to make our way back down, which is a bit annoying because there was nothing really down here of worth. Um, but it's better to better to know than not. So I wish there was an auto run as well. Um, yeah, in terms of the stream this week, I did mention earlier, um, oh, there's a survivor here, um, that I may, I don't know when I'm going to be streaming, I definitely won't be streaming Monday and Wednesday nights, because I have the gym on Tuesday, Thursday morning, so, uh, right, Who's there? See. You're not Cellcast, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? Uh, I'm Jin Char, the Republic sent me down to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple of days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane cell calf killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The cell calf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calf. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. 
Uh, what are you going? What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto harvester they built on the edge of the Harakert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay, and I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell cast mutants running around looking for dinner. Uh. Okay, I'll come with you. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell cast. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Okay, down there and to the right apparently. So he's going down there. I'm not going to go down there yet. I am going to go and have a little mooch around here. And I am half tempted to go and my make myself... A coffee so we have been I've been streaming for about an hour and a half now so I'm gonna go and have a little mooch around here see what's here and then I will put just pause uh, uh, there's a pressure room there so we can oh yeah we come through that way don't we uh, yeah 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 I'm, I know I know there's another door that we can go that way uh, is there anything in here that we can get Nope. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to put the stream on pause. So I will be right back. I don't think there's anything I need to pause the game for, but I'll just leave it like this. So if I die, you know what? Quick save. If I die, I die. So I'll be right back. Right then. Uh Right, let's get going, shall we? Um, right, so we got to go to the right. Onto the seabed. Um, I know I played this years and years ago. I have no recollection of this part whatsoever. Because I know there's a very similar thing that happens in the second game. But you're in space. Um, at one of the space stations and you have to go outside um, into space and you're kind of doing a very similar thing here but I don't know or oh, is this why we got to use the oh hello we got is this why we got to use the sonic um, emitter is he gonna get munched Munched. Uh, okay, which way do I go? I imagine this way. Uh, do I go this way? I have no recollection of this whatsoever. Is that yeah it looks like over there so if I press if I press six does it use it yeah it uses it if I press six okay that's fine oh okay okay so now at least I know leave me alone oh no stop pressing it you donut Yeah, it looks like maybe this over here where all the bubbles are coming from. Ah, oh, there's one in there. Which is quite cool. There's no ones that are around me. That Are, there, are these going to come out as well? Or are they just part of the, the decor? That is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, right, so... Hopefully only one comes at a time because I'm gonna to have to get the timing done right. Okay, that's 
fine. Okay, so we can handle the second one absolutely fine here. Uh, Alright, so there's a place over here we can go. I'm just going to kill this Phyraxa here. Just to get a little bit more experience. There we go, nice. So there's nothing over there. We are going to make our way this side though, as we are a little bit closer by the looks of things. Um, so, uh... I think we gotta go through here anyway, because I know there was a door on that side. So yeah, we can. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna be streaming this week. As I say, uh, Tuesday maybe a U-boat stream, um, or I may be continuing this. I don't know yet. It'll be, it'll be one of the two. Okay, so there's a. Oh, okay. Arch locker, average plasma mine, okay there. Is it there's two lockers here we can go into, so there's a hyper adrenal strength. We're gonna use our heal here and we're just going to hopefully be able to nuke these down. Uh frag grenade. Okay, so that was a bit of damage there. So I'll try and get this down quick. And the dogs come to say hello, hello belly. Come on, more damage than that, please. Okay, down, nice. Okay, that's down now, and now this one. Okay, cool. Okay, I think we have got some few lucky rolls there, which is fine. There is the uh, Republic soldier that's dead here. So there's four computer spikes and two antidote kits. Uh, corpse of the Republic soldier. Let's have a mooch. Uh, he has got a, uh, a breath mask and a Achani dueling shield as well. So, is that? So, it's going to give us immunity to poison. That's giving us a three will and two awareness, and this is giving us immunity to poison, and this is giving us immunity to critical strikes, immunity to mind. So what we might do actually, we might put that onto there. We might actually just put the breath, the the, the breath mask on, um, because now we've got immunity to poison and the sp uh, critical hits. So I think that's actually not too bad. We have got remains here as well. We are going to have a little mooch. Uh, three uh, Coroban crystal, no, grenades, sorry. So let's get some heals on the go now. Uh, and we are going to do another little quick hit, uh, save. Is there anything there that we can loot? No, we can't. Uh, oh, these look like... No, not, they're not, I thought it was Jedi at first. Uh, let's look through here. Okay, so there's two foot lockers. There might be a grenade in the middle of the room. Two Coroban grenades. So check this foot locker here as well. And two med packs. Uh, let's go to the computer panel first. Uh, so accessing airlock control success. Airlock control inactive. Okay, so we can't open that yet. Hmm. I'm tempted to try and see what these are like, so I'm going to throw one of those and just see what they... Okay, so that's that. Okay, so maybe they do... Okay. Stunned, okay, nice. Right, let's get these down quick. We are sending these back. So we are reflecting when we need to, but we are going to be running on low health here. So we are going to get a heal down range. And we're going to get another one as well, just for safety. So just do a final attack there, just to get him down. Uh, attack, low. Here we go. Okay, so let's... That was a nasty grenade there. Nice. And then let's just get this one down now as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
That was a nice little bit of damage there. One more hit like that, we should be fine. Okay, lovely jubbly. Okay, so there's the Foot Locker here. Let's just have a little mooch. There's four computer spikes and two uh, uh, antidote kits. Uh, nothing on these gentlemen here, except for him here. Let's see what he's got. Uh, three frag grenades. So this is going to be a means of trying to get out, which... Looking at the map, we came in through this way, and this is the room to the other door. So we look like it looks like all we're going to do here is just go and talk to these people on the left which i wasn't i didn't think we could actually do because i thought there might be something oh okay no, no you can't come in here you'll let the forax and the cell cap in no stay out stay out i won't let you open the door what for the those fuck? monsters to get in i'll stop you i'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber that'll stop you kill them kill them now uh 60 seconds to come Four seconds to complete depressurization. Alright, let's just blast this down. Forty-eight seconds to complete depressurization. I mean, I know I can go to the group. Thirty-six seconds to complete depressurization. Thirty seconds to complete depressurization. Okay, come on, let's just get this down quick. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Cellcath are coming. No. No, no, ah! Uh, I'm a friend. I'll protect you. You're both safe now. I, I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. I mean, I could the slice them off. Crazy. I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Cellcath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while, and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead, dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. Oh, that's your man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know him. Rift project. Um. Why did the cell calf go all crazy? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Faraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the cell calves started screaming too. And they turned hmm. on us. I thought it said turned you on then. <laughs> um, it was protecting something? It may. It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things too. Uh, like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kolto as a food source... And all those other Farax and sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Um... Where is the monster Phyraxian now? I don't know. It must still be out there. Out there, waiting for us. Uh, so what can I do about it? The Phyraxian sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. 
Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. Um... What are you talking about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Frax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. Mm. That's what we designed it to do. What else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Faraxon drove all the Cellcath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Colto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Faraxon shark. Uh... What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. Uh... How would I you do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Um... Yeah, she is right, to be fair. Um... <laughs> I'll do what I want and kill you both as well. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll destroy the harvesting machine. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Colto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. Right. Okay. So there is. We've got. We have got a choice here. So, uh, Colno Nolan. We were supposed to come down here. Um. We were supposed to come down here because um. Roland One told us about. About him that he was a scientist. I'm not sure if there's a quest, a quest relating to it. Okay, so we're going to go through the pressure door here. Engage uh, engage the airlock. And we're going to be back out. There we go. So we're going to use that. Uh, there's another Phyraxian here. Alright, so I think if I go this way this is probably the best way to go colon colto control panel see over there that looks like a Jesus Christ that scared the fuck out of me just seeing that in the distance uh uh, accessing harvest control success access fuel tank con pre pressure control loading pressure control layer success operating warning hydro uh, hydroleum hydroleum unstable at 4 million sangan pressure would rupture container part continue press enter to cancel live feed um, fuel injector part uh, at 0 to 3 million sangin container pod at 0 to 5 million sangin um, fill container pod oh 
oh wait a minute this is this whole thing isn't it where you've got to you've got to get four million so and it was in it, oh, it's in it's in Die Hard 3 so we've got to dump transfer from the container to make it three of two in there and then right there's this, this middle is basically you have to you don't fill the one with three do you display pressure values here so you got three in that so I think we've got to okay I, I think I know I think I know it so what we've got to do is we've got to dump no we've got to transfer from the injector to the container so there's five in there We've got to fill the injector pod. So there is three in there. We then. Uh, it's the container pod we got to release. So dump that. So it's three of three. We've then got to transfer the, from the injector to the container. We then got to fill. We've then got to fill the injector pod. So then we've got three of five, and then well three of three, and then three of five. You then transfer from the injector to the container. So then we've got five of five, and one of three. You dump from the container, which means we've got one of three. We then transfer from the injector to the container. So we've one of five, and then we've got to fill the injector pod with three of three, and then we transfer that from the injector to the container again. So then it will go to four. Warning, warning, container pod unstable, evacuate immediately. Lovely. Yeah, that's in Die Hard, Die Hard 3. Um, it's a bit of a faff, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's one of them. Uh, so, I love it, it says, like, investigate, like... Uh, evacuate immediately and it's like do, 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 do. <laughs> do uh, right let's open the pressure door can't apparently so I think we've got to go back in there unless we have to go that way which I don't think we did I didn't want to go that way, there was a big shark. You have yet to discover the start. Wait, so I've got to go that way? Oh, there's a big shark that way. I don't want to. Um, yeah, so... I don't really have much of a fear with sharks. As, as daft as that sounds. But... I'm not sure if anyone else does this but you know when you go to the swimming baths and the swimming baths they have okay there's the big shark on the right there um, when you go to the swim baths there's if a sea beast yeah uh, if there is a uh, now the Car uh, Carlo harvesting machine has been destroyed the great uh, fraction shows no sign of hostility allows you to pass okay um, yeah so when you go into the swim pool especially the ones that have wave machines within the swim pool at the very end in the deep end you will see like grates in the water um, so it almost looks like a cage and in there that's where they kind of churn the waves that's what, what makes the uh, the wave machine work and um, I always used to have a bit of a fear of looking in there and just seeing a shark. Uh, okay, so the, this is the star map which we found in, on Dantween. Ooh, okay, 
right, journal, journal entry. Okay, so the journal entry. So you've discovered another ancient star map beneath the oceans of Manan. As before, the map is incomplete, but each map you find fills in more of the missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I don't really have much of a fear with sharks. Um, I know they're bringing out Meg 2 as well. I'm not sure if you've seen the trailer for Meg 2. But fuck. It looks awful. It looks so bad. I mean, the first one weren't even that great. Um, I mean, it's... I know it's Jaws... I know it's just like another version of Jaws, but they have to go bigger and better. Um, but yeah, the Meg, the second Meg film just looks awful. Uh, right, so we have to go to the left here as well. Ooh. Okay, lovely. So, uh, we can talk to these two here, I think. I saw what happened on the camera, and I can't believe what you did. How could you willfully destroy the Colto harvesting machinery? That'll set us back years! I'll have you know that when we get back to the surface, I'll have the Republic do a full inquiry into your actions. Now, go back to the surface and get the Republic to send a real rescue team down for us. Okay, rude. Shall I just kill him? I saw what happened. I'll have... Now... Oh, I wish I could. Uh, is this the way we gotta go? Um, I'm gonna heal up first. I know I'm not gonna get any... There might be some frax and sharks around. Uh, activating airlock, engaging airlock seals, success, begin airlock sequence. any sharks around there is the game man eater as well um which i'm not sure okay so that's been smashed where it wasn't smashed before hmm yeah, that wasn't smashed before. There was a Fraxian shark in there before. So I don't know if we're allowed to just go in because it's broken or not. Can I go up? Oh, I can go up. Uh, foot locker here. Let's go, go and have a mooch in here. Uh, and it's a nerve amplifier belt. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Uh, okay. What does that do? Uh, nerve amplifier belt. Nerve amplifier belt. It, it, it's immune to your mind afflicting. Okay. So. I wouldn't say that's really worth anything. I don't think I can get through here. It will say that we are... It is welded. Yep. Thought so. That's fine. Um, so now we've done the star map on Manan. Next, I think I said I was going to be going to Tatooine. Uh, but... That would probably be a good 
place to leave leave it once we get back to the ebon hawk and we kind of go through everything that we need to today um leaving the stream at the ebon hawk will be quite nice because then we can go next time to i think we did decide to go to tatooine um which again i can't remember anything with tatooine um so then we are we are doing an average of around two streams per area in a way um we spent two areas spent two streams in tatooine two streams in on taris and um yeah two streams on taris and then two streams on manan which is uh oh we gotta go through here don't we um which is which is good so if we can continue doing the average, we would have part seven and eight on Tatooine, part nine and ten on maybe Korriban, and then part eleven, twelve in Kashyyyk, and then wherever we need to go after that. I'm trying to remember, but I can't fully remember. Um, so yeah, um, I think that would be a pretty good shout to be honest. Um, I can't see shit though. Yeah, apologies for those who can't really see. I know it is quite dark for you, but um, and I don't know how you turn the brightness up on OBS. Um, I know there is a way that you can do it, like you can just turn the gamma up. I can't. I don't really know how it how to do it. I might have a look at that later on. Uh, right, we're good here. How can I help? Uh, can you help me with my little stowaway problem? I'm confident that you can deal with that on your own. Okay, well, fuck you too, bitch. Um, right, uh, we have explored everywhere we need to. That's the airlock. There's an airlock there, and there's the airlock there. Okay, we are going to go back to the submersible now. now. And I don't think there's anything else we need to kill whilst we're around. Uh, can we talk to your man here Is again? somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy! Uh, come out from there now or blast our way in. <laughs> That's what you think? Fishy think that too. These walls and door are six centimeters. No, oh, 12 centimeters of Durasteel. I'm invulnerable behind my walls. Nobody's getting in here. Four? I'll carve you into little fish bits. No, you can't have me in here. I'm in. Insert lightsaber into locker. Ah! Okay, dark side points there. Uh, Bastila, you didn't see anything. Did you? Do we not get anything from that? Uh, swiftly moving on. <laughs> well, he said he was invincible, so. How was I to know? Oh, quick pack. Uh, med pack here, great. Uh, that means we probably didn't check this. Uh, yeah, we did. Okay, we just didn't check that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, remains there. I don't think if there's remains here, then that we probably didn't. Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, that's th this was the Jedi, wasn't it? Um, okay, I think this is fully explored now. So we are just gonna head head back to the to the Ebon Hawk. Unless we do need to um, report back to Rowan 1, which I think we probably might have to. Um, we are going to be passing anyway, so we might as well just have a chat with him when we can. Uh, so we're going to use the submersible.
it's cool, cool submersible to be fair. Okay, Rowan one. You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? The Selkaf went insane. Insane? What did they do? And why? Your construction woke something up. Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? A giant Phyraxian shark that drove all the Sel Selkath insane. It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Uh, a few scientists have survived. Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? The harvesting machine was destroyed. No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? Indeed, I did. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Really? After I've just... Okay. Greetings once again. I trust you have been discreet concerning the events at Rackard Rift. Should the Selkath obtain proof of what occurred down there, the consequences for the Republic would be severe. For both our sakes, I hope you are smart enough to keep silent on this matter. Truth be told, I'm uncomfortable even with us being seen together. The rumors are already plentiful enough among the mm. Selkath about the Republic's role in this. Uh, maybe a bribe? Maybe a bribe would ensure my silence? Don't be foolish. If the Republic's role in this is discovered, I will be sure the blame rests on your shoulders as well. We share a secret. We will share the consequences if the secret is revealed. For both our sakes, you should move on. Our conversation attracts undue attention. Uh, okay. Then fine. I shall wish you good day. On behalf of the Republic, I hope you enjoy your time here on Manon. Okay, more dark side points. Okay. Uh, well, how, where are we looking? Like on dark side points. Okay, so we are looking a bit mid at the moment. Yeah, only mid. Um, which is fine. Which is fine. Um. I say it's fine. Preferably, I would like to get to light side at the moment, only because it will reduce the the, fo the the force points on the skills that we're going to be using anyway. So, I think we should. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Uh, stop human. Don't blame me. We have been, you have been known to uh, have asked questions about this, and our spy monitors in the Republic Embassy recorded uh, you leaving in a submersible that descended to the uh, Rackert Rift. You will come with us immediately to answer for your actions, or you will be forced. We we will be forced to take you by force. Um. Very well, I'll come peacefully. Because I know what's going to happen anyway. So, I say, I know I'm going to be taken anyway. So, I might as well. I helped you guys. I stopped the Republic mining it. As much as we may rem admire the Republic and your order in particular, I, we, I believe you will have a hard time explaining your role in this instance uh, adequately. We have determined that you are responsible for the detonations that occurred near the Rackhurst Rift. We demand to know what occurred down there. Uh, 
If the Republic have broken its neutrality treaty with us, the repercussions shall be very grave indeed. Ooh. What have you done to the rift? Uh. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to go to the explosions where. The, yeah, the explosions were... Um. I love that he's just turned around, he's not even looking at him. Machinery had woken up a giant Phyraxian shark. Destroyed the machinery to save it. Mm, interesting. Mr. Hooded, how are you, good sir? <laughs> Just cast your actions in a new life, human. This, I believe, will require more thought, both on your actions and what we must do in response. You effed up. What did you do? This, this court will adjourn while we deliberate. Uh, we have re reviewed your actions and the situation, human. We thank you for the destruction of the machinery and saving the giant Fraxton, which we believe is the source of our Colto, or at least its guardian. Lost my driver's license three weeks before my test. Ooh. Uh, Uh, when you say lost it, do you mean you lost it on like a night out, or did you lose it? Have you just has it just gone? Um, right, I think we're all good now, so we can end up going back to the Ebon Hawk. Uh, so we got to go uh, to the Mercenary City Center. Okay, let's go to the city center. Uh, gather the party. Yep. Let's just wait for Candorus to hurry up. Mm. 
Here he is. Mr. Tom Clancy. Um, yeah, so I so you've that's that's annoying, mate. I'm sorry that you've uh, you've lost that. Um, I don't even know what to suggest. I don't know if there is anything I can say, except for call you a sausage. <laughs> Buster seems to have something in mind. Perhaps you should talk to her. Okay, let's talk to Buster. How can I help? Um, you have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? Um, educated guess. I'm a Jedi. I am far too disciplined to betray my emotions with outward physical displays. We both know the real reason you have some idea of what I'm thinking, um. the bond we share. Um, search my own house and take my bed apart to look underneath. It was it locked in my car. It's nowhere to be found. And I've had to order a new one, and I hope it shows up on time for the test. Of course, I have to wait for another four months for a new test. <sighs> oh, mate. Um, oh, that's that's rough. Um, I know it's one of those typical things, but like typical things to say. But when was? the last time you remember seeing it and then try I know it's a typical thing it's just and um, what you probably find is because you've ordered a new one awesome it's just gonna turn up that's the best way of finding something is order a new one um, you st two weeks okay so you can't really narrow down your steps okay um, and it was in your wallet I assume. Uh, what do you mean? Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. <laughs> you could warn me when I do something bad. Blink one for dark side, twice for light. Um, what do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Um, I should have I should have been on the road when I was 17. I might not be on the road now. I'm 18 if it doesn't doesn't show up in time. It hopefully it does, mate. I mean, they do normally say it takes four to six weeks, but um, they say the same with passports, and you can get your passport within a week. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully just keep keep us up to date, mate. Uh, just let us know if it does come or not. Um, I will try. Um, training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I won't do anything to hurt you. Um... Yeah, let me know, mate. Let me know. Um, hopefully, it does. Um, hopefully, you, it does turn up for you. Um, and it really does suck if it doesn't. So, um, I won't do anything to hurt you. I believe you truly mean what you say. For now, but sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance, hmm. or advice, or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I appreciate any help you can offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. <laughs> For now, we should return to our mission. Okay, thanks, Bastila. Um, 
So we didn't even go back to finish those security droids in the Sith base, but I'm not going to bother because... Uh, <gasps> did someone say Bazaar? <laughs> right, one game, one game, Pazak. Uh, who are you? I know you. Sure, let's play. Right, wager. We've got 10,000 credits. Ooh. Right, let's have a. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to end the turn. 17. Uh. End turn. Oh, pooey. When are we going under the sea? Um, I I assume you mean you boat. I think it may be Tuesday, pal. Uh, it won't be tomorrow. Um, so my schedule, the way it works, is I have Mondays and Wednesdays early early nights, so about eight a half eight. I go to bed. Um, mon and then Tuesdays, Thursdays are stream days friday if i am feeling up for it on a friday night and then a saturday and sunday i'll stream so four days a week i'll be streaming um and i will try and get a u-boat streaming at least once a week um so i'm probably gonna do tuesday um and then uh probably continue with this on thursday um or if i'm getting the flavor for it then i'll might do a cheeky stream on Monday or Wednesday. Um, okay, so end turn here. Uh, 13, okay, so let's go again. We can't lose on this one yet. So, okay, lovely. Okay, nice, we won that round. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be start, I get home around six from work and then I will be um yeah I'll be I'll be home around six o'clock make dinner take uh, take the dog out for a walk uh get showered do everything I need to do so I probably I do try and stream for around seven o'clock ish um so yeah but just jump in when you're ready pal um uh eleven okay so he's got seventeen he's gonna put that to a okay that was nice we are kind of running on an advantage at the moment. Okay. 9, 19. Okay, so we've done that. 18. We can put the plus 2 here. So we're going to, we're going to draw that round. Uh, 15. And the dog is snoring in the background. Yeah, don't gamble. Don't gamble, kids. Uh, right, we're going to flip this and we're going to say to 20 and we're going to... Oh, you jammy. Right, we are even Stevens at the moment now. Um, uh, 13. Okay, if we hit a 10 now, right, we're going to have to do that and we're going to have to stand. Okay, we win that round. Okay, that's fine. Let's end the turn. 11. All right, we're going to have to go with this now. Ooh. Now, I'm going to use this. I think. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to I'm gonna risk it. Hey, didn't matter. <laughs> uh, it was a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. No, not right now. We're not going to play another game. I did get you 200 credits, though, which is great. Um, but yeah, don't gamble. Don't gamble. But that Pazak is so fun. It's so simple, but it's so fun. Um, it's docking Bay. Uh, and then we're going to go to the Ebon Hawk. Um... Which the Ebon Hawk, that's the Sith. That's the Sith hangar, which we can actually go into now, can't we? We're just gonna have a little uh leaving Ot Leaving Otto City Scooter Zone cameras deactivated. Okay. Uh we're going No, excuse me. It's gonna 
Sith soldier there, and there's a Sith soldier here as well. Anything lootable around here? We've got all the proper culto training permits, so back off. <laughs> We've got all the proper culto training permits, so back off. Same voice, team. Same voice. Uh, right. Uh, I don't want to talk to your man here. Cleaning droid. And there is a merchant here. I don't want to be talking to your man there either. I don't think he's got anything. Of, yeah, I don't think you've got anything. Let me see your infantry. Um, yeah, there's nothing there worth buying. Uh, so we're all good. Uh, so we're going to just come to the Ebon Hawk now. And before. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, so before uh, calling it a day, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the workbench, and we are going to have a look at these crystals that we got. So uh, we can look at this one, which is ours, and we got a. So there's a twenty-five percent chance of a stun, which is nice. Hold on, two seconds. Can you can you hear that in the background? Have you played some Nautica? No, I have not. Um, may play it in the future. Um, you can hear that in the background. Yeah, that is the pooch. Hold on, Belly, Bella. Hello, come here. Come on. Come here. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't show me off in front of my friends. Come on. Hello. Come on, up you get. Okay. So. <laughs> Quick introduction. So. I've, I'm sure I've introduced her before, but yeah, this is my little French bulldog, Bella. Yeah, and you are a little shit, aren't you? <laughs> a little piglet so yeah she's uh she's five year old frenchie um i have had her since she was a puppy and um yeah she's my best mate and it's just me and her we it's just me and her that live alone um isn't that right <laughs> right you are a bit grumpy so you go to bed you go to bed and stop snoring, please. Um, so, um, yeah, I've, I say I might play some Nautica in the future. Um, it's not something that has been on my radar, um, but I may actually give it a look. I know it was on sale recently as well, but I didn't pick it up. Um, so, yeah, let me just look at these crystals now. So there, we got two of these, which was... Blaster bolt deflection increases by five. The damage bonus for energy is th that. This refined form of op Oplia. Uh, okay, so that might be quite nice to have because of the reflections. And then this is going to give us a attack bonus of two. And then damage bonus for uh, racial group droid 1d6 energy. Okay, so this is going to be AoE with droids. So that's not too bad either. Um, so what we might do is we might actually... Because this is uh, attack bonus of 1d6 energy there. What we might do is... Uh, if I have a game recommendation... If, if I have game recommendations, could I just give you a link to a video on YouTube? Um, what you can do... On the Discord, um, there's the channel recommendations. If you go to your, if you go to Steam, you can say share, and you can create a link from Steam. It's really simple. If you just post that into um, the recommendations, uh, and it can be a film, it can be a book, it can be a, it can be a series, it can obviously be a game, um, things like that. So if you do want to recommend anything, you can just throw that in the Discord, um, which has just popped up, of course. So yeah, um, you're welcome to do that, pal. Um, so, uh, attack modifier, 
Uh, I'm going to give that a... I think I'm going to... What I might do is I might actually put these onto uh, Bastila's. So I think because she's in, I'm going to put that on and then she's got Rubat, which gives one plus damage and one plus defense. I'm going to give her this, which is going to actually make it a little bit better there, I think. Um... So that's actually a lot nicer at the moment. Um, it's got Blaster Bolt, Deflection 5, Attack Modifier plus 2, and then uh, the plus 4, no, plus 1 to 6 in droid, against droids. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you want to do that, pal, then you, you're more than welcome to. Uh, double Blade Lightsaber, I am going to actually change this up as well. So we are going to have make that yellow, and we're going to have a works there and a there so we are actually going to assemble that and we're going to have that as a secondary we're going to have that as a secondary so we're going to remove that and we're going to have give that a yellow crystal um and we're going to put a blue crystal in there okay lovely uh ranged we can look at all those there um we can give that, which is going to give a a flat one attack onto um, onto that, and then we're going to have this, which is going to give it another plus one as well onto its uh, attack, um, which is great. Um, Calf's blaster, it's got everything that it needs, um, and then Salbar has got everything he needs as well. Uh, armor, let's have a look at the armor. So we've got this. We have got a uh, armor refinement there, and we have got that there as well. So we're going to do this, and then in the melee, we've got missions viral blade, which is we've got dual steel alloy, which we can increase on that, which is going to give her a plus one to attack modifier, and then the energy project as well, which is going to do one damage extra to and with the energy uh, so we're going to assemble that and we're going to come out and we're going to have a uh it's a bit, this is a bit zoomed in is this just me or is this really zoomed in now uh did i press a button that kind of oh yeah first person i only found out we had first person mode on um on this um, not the other day. So I've played this game before, but I never knew there was first person mode. Um, okay, cool. So what we've done, we have established the fact that we have, well, we have gone to the uh, star map on Manan. So we was going to go to Tatooine next. So there's Tatooine, there's Korriban, and there is Kashyyyk. We are going to go to, uh, to Tatooine next, uh, which we will do in the next stream. Um, I do just want to have a quick mooch to see um, if we can talk to this little girl here, which is Sasha. Um, can you tell me your name? Does the name Le Arca ring a bell? Uh, the girl looks at you quizzing, uh, quizzically, not understanding. Can you tell me your name? Girl looks at you, oddly puzzled. Point to yourself. My name is Jin Cha. You are. Um. Waba Susa Sasha. Sasha, your name is Sasha. Um. Try to learn Sasha's strange language. Uh. Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna. Uh, Mandalori, that's your word for Mandalorian. Okay, um, okay, Mandalorian's bad, I get it. Uh, 
but you are a Mandalorian child then. I can understand Mandalorian, but you're all, all your words are mixed up. Okay, so she clearly doesn't understand there. Um, she points to herself. I see you, you see me, I need to hear more. The girl hides her face behind the hand, uh, hands for a moment. Uh, you're hiding. Uh, I didn't get all of that. Sure. Uh, everything is safe. That panel, what? That's what life means. Uh, the panel, all of this is your home. Life means home. The girl smiles. Bruce uh, Tag, what is that? It's a thing, something around here. Uh, means starship, doesn't it? You're hiding in a starship. It's your home, I understand. Uh, you said that before. What is gonna... Gone descend. Um, something about me? Yes, but what? The girl smiles and pats her chest. It's something you like. Yes, Gansin means you like it. You like me, I understand. Selima Wanga Kunbikim. Uh na Abt, uh, you said that when I first found you. Kipona Bona Nakichu. Abt means hit, is that it? Kipona Bona Nakichu. Riz. <laughs> so abs means to hurt, na means not hurt, is that it? Tonki ba non tontek. I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Uh, yum. What kind of word is that? Uh, it's part of the ship. A room? She mimics the she mimics the acts that look like she's chewing something. You mean food? Yum is food. Uh, nun kiss. Is that all one phrase? Uh... Stabs downward several times with a finger. Uh, the floor. She covers her mouth with her hands. You're not speaking now means now. Nah, good. This means before. You want some food now. You're hungry. Uh, tabbed you. What does that mean? Uh, you want me to tell you a story? She points at you. So tabs means tell me about. Uh, you want to know about... Communicate with Sasha in her language. Uh, no, we'll talk about this later. I'm not going to sit here and do all this now, but we have made some progress. I might even do that off stream because that isn't really the best thing to be watching because it's a bit annoying. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do now is I am I do think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, so I have been streaming now for two hours, 45. So, um, yeah, I think it's a good time to leave it. We have completed the... Manan um, star map mission so we are going to be going over to Tatooine next time which I think won't be Tuesday that will probably be U-Boat but if it is if it isn't U-Boat it will be this um, um, or yeah or if I do play U-Boat on Tuesday then I'll be playing this on Thursday um, so yeah but I hope um, those who uh, stuck around um, and watched. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, for those who are watching the VOD, I uh, hope you enjoy as well. Um, I know apologies for um, there's a there's a lot of it where it does seem very very um, <laughs> yeah um, yeah. There's a there's a lot where it's it's a struggle to see because we were underwater, um, but you're just gonna have to burn through. So yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for joining everyone. Um, I will see you all 
later. I hope you've all had a good weekend. And I will keep you all up to date on the Discord and Twitter uh, when I'm going to be online again. It should be around Tuesday night time. So, yeah, thanks very much, everyone. Uh, if you have not followed the channel already, please do consider it. I am on the road to affiliate, so as I say, I do need to get to that magic uh, magic number 50. Um, as I say, all oh, that would be appreciated. So, yeah, um, take care now and have a great rest of the night. And see you all soon.